It's called The Following. It's on Fox TV. It's a violent series. The cult leader urges his followers to stab their victims. You heard uh, just before our short break there, a professor saying, well, I think my version would be that the jury is out on whether people are influenced by these things. Let's turn to Gail Gross, who is a very well-known, respected human behavior and parenting expert. Uh, Gail, good morning. Where, where do you stand on this? Well, it's the exact opposite stance. Uh, you know, uh, this professor is missing a lot of hard data on MRIs and uh, cortisol studies and uh, CAT scan studies where we actually can see now through our technology the changes in the brain when children are exposed and adults are exposed to violence hour by hour. And the changes in the brain, the changes in the architecture of the brain go up hour by hour. Impulse control changes. The architecture of the brain changes. Um, you know, when you you watched in, in our, I'm older than you, I'm sure, but when we watched Psycho, and we saw Janet Lee yeah. uh, about to get stabbed by Tony Perkins. We all jumped out of our seats, screamed and yelled as if we were involved in that scene. And the reason is because that is what we now know about memory, how we think, and how we store information. That we, the architecture of the brain is when emotion is assigned to our feelings, it actually changes both our memories and the way we think. And if we get consistent stress, like 10,000 hours of video games in the life of an adolescent, those uh, emotions, those reaction, reactions, those habits that are formed while playing these games and watching these violent scenes on television and in the media actually put our minds, our brains in a space as if they are actually being abused, as if we are being abused. But don't, let me let me leap in, as you know, we, we, we're tight for time, but the, the question, psycho was kind of a one-off. You, did, you didn't see it coming. But we are, are we not immune to this level of violence now? It's there all the time. Well, you, you're immune and you, you become set desensitized in the end. But you know how we train soldiers? We train soldiers by teaching them video games to be reactive and the same thing is happening with adolescents we're cha- we're training adolescents to be very reactive so that you know what adolescence is freud said strom and angst um, aristotle said age of insanity when our emotions are in flux because our hormones are in flux preparing us for mating and in males preparing them for fighting for that mate as a result take that couple it take that instability and couple it with the options that children are learning through these video games, these reactive uh, options that become second nature, and you have a, a mix of violence ready to happen. Philip Zimbardo did a, a very famous psychi- psychologist from Stanford wrote the um, prison study, the Stanford prison study, it was, and he talked about this specific thing about how normal, intelligent college students cross the line when caught up in this matrix of situational and systematic violence. Unbelievable stuff. Thank you for your time this morning, Gail Gross. We could uh, and should be looking a lot more at this, and we will do more programs on this issue. The news is next.